गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एट योर होम सो बी सेफ एट योर होम एंड वी प्रोवाइड यू द ऑनलाइन टीचिंग सो बी रेडी फॉर दैट टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट टू सब्जेक्ट्स टुगेदर अकाउंटेंसी एंड बिजनेस स्टडीज Dear students in today's lecture I will make you clear the concepts of both the subjects okay first of all we start from business studies before starting business study i want to make you clear that these both subjects are complementary of each other i think you are very clear regarding the meaning of complementary means they both subjects are dependent on each other they both are related to each other without accountancy business could not be done and with, uh, without business studies no, there is no existence of accountancy so from today we will start business studies and after that i will make you clear the meaning of accountancy also both the subjects are very easy so be comfortable okay first of all I want to tell you the meaning of activity. You know activity. कोई भी काम हम जब करते हैं तो हम उसको बोलते हैं I am performing this activity. Okay. So activities are having two types. First is economic activity, and second is your non-economic activity. Let's take the description of both these activities. क्या होती है economic activity? The activity which आर डन द एक्टिविटीज विच आर डन फॉर मनी कंसिड्रेशन आर कॉल्ड इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी मीन्स जो एक्टिविटीज मनी के लिए की जाती हैं उनको हम इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी कहते हैं लाइक सीमा परचेज ए बुक फॉर रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड हेयर सीमा इज परफॉर्मिंग एन एक्टिविटी मीन्स सीमा एक बुक परचेज कर रही है rupees 10000 you are surprised to see the value of the book rupees 10000 you may write it rupees 100 also it's an example only okay so you may see that there is a money consideration seema ke paas book aayi hai aur seema ne paise diye hain to this activity is done for money okay so this is called the economic activity The second activity is non-economic activity. The activity which are done not for money consideration means जिन activities को perform करने से ना पैसा आता है और ना ही पैसा जाता है Example, I am taking the example of a teacher. Being a teacher, first of all, I'll take my example. A teacher teach his or her own child. अपने बच्चे को पढ़ाना क्या उसके बदले में हम अपने बच्चे से फीस लेते हैं नो सो इट इज़ अ नॉन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी ओके तो वी हैव डिस्कस द मीनिंग ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी एंड नॉन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी आफ्टर दैट वी विल डिस्कस द मीनिंग ऑफ बिजनेस बिजनेस इज एन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी विच इज डन टू अर्न प्रॉफिट मीन्स दिस इज इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी no doubt this is not a non economic activity this is a economic activity but this activity is done to earn profit to earn profit the purpose of business is to earn profit example i am just taking make example yahan pe le samjha rahi hu aapko ram purchased a mobile phone of costing rupees 10000 for rupees 12000 राम ने एक मोबाइल फ़ोन परचेज किया है टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज़ की कॉस्ट है उसकी और ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड रुपीज़ में उसने वो परचेज़ किया है सो फॉर द शॉपकीपर इट वुड बी अ बिज़नेस तो शॉपकीपर के लिए ये एक बिज़नेस हुआ बिकॉज इट इज़ डन टू अर्न मनी इट इज़ डन टू अर्न प्रॉफिट टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज़ का मोबाइल उसने ट्वेल्व में सेल किया है तो यहाँ पर उसके पीछे प्रॉफिट मोटिव था तो आपने देखा कि बिजनेस एक इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी है लेकिन इसका पर्पस क्या होगा प्रॉफिट अर्निंग क्या पर्पस होगा इसका प्रॉफिट अर्निंग ओके 
some points to be remembers are the here it should be clear to you all that it is not necessary that all the economic activities are business yes aap yahan pe apna is confusion ko clear kijiye ke sabhi economic activities business nahi hoti when the purpose of economic activity is to earn profit only then it can become a business tabhi ek business banti hai hum isko kisi example se le samajhte hain सपोज आई परचेज ए कार फोर रुपीज़ फाइव लैख एंड आई सोल्ड इट टू माई फ्रेंड फॉर द सेम प्राइज सो इट वुड नॉट बी अ बिजनेस बिकॉज देर इज़ नो प्रॉफिट ओके तो इट वॉज द मीनिंग ऑफ बिजनेस नाउ आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू हाउ बिजनेस एंड अकाउंटेंसी बोथ आर रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर नाउ वी आर जस्ट क्लियरिंग द मीनिंग ऑफ अकाउंटेंसी it is recording of all business transaction in terms of money i am just repeating it is recording of all business transaction all business transaction in business every day a lot of transactions take place we sell the goods we purchase the goods we return the goods the customer return the goods to us तो एक शॉपकीपर के लिए या एक बिजनेसमैन के लिए इट वुड बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रिमेंबर ऑल द थिंग्स सो ही और शी विल फील द नीड टू राइट ऑल दीज ट्रांजेक्शन लिखना पड़ेगा तो इन सभी बिजनेस ट्रांजेक्शन्स को इन सभी परचेज और सेल्स को जहाँ पे हम लिखते हैं उसको ही हम अकाउंटेंसी बोलते हैं दैट ब्रांच ओके so now i think the meaning of accountancy is clear and the relationship of accountancy and business study is also clear to you all okay in a systematic way here i circle the word systematic way systematic way means in accounting language first of all you will have to convert the transaction transaction means any purchase any sale you will have to convert that transaction into the accounting language then you will write that into the accounts okay then you will record all this after that we will discuss the meaning of or sorry we will discuss the working of accountancy before going through all the working of accountancy we need to know about the types of account yes these are the backbone of accounts these are the backbone of accounts so type of accounts are the three types of accounts are the first is a real account second is personal account two types of personal accounts are the natural personal and artificial personal and the third type is nominal account we will study the meaning of all the accounts one by one what is real account it is related to all those things which can be touched and which can be seen like table book chair everything which can be seen which can be touched but the things should be non living means all the non living things the personal account the name of any person place city organizations are included in personal account suppose mohan gohana sonipat rohtak these all are the examples of personal account here i'm just asking the name if the name is the name of a person is there then he or she will be the part of natural personal account and if the name of city name of uh, place name of organization then it would be a artificial personal the third is nominal account it is related to all incomes profits and expenses losses means all the expenses losses profits all are include, included into nominal accounts the examples are salary paid rupees 5000 commission received rupees 
okay students so i think it it would be enough for today we will take the brief uh, the brief description of these accounts tomorrow so thank you